So about a few months ago, I would say, I had asked you guys on Instagram uh, between four different hair care brands that I haven't tried yet, which one I should try. Now, I did get uh, responses for each one of the hair brands. However, as I was reading through the comments, I noticed that the one that was getting the most recommendations was the Myel Organics. So about a week or so ago, I was in Sally's looking for some new products to purchase and decided on the Myel Organics uh, products. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my styling routine using the two products that I picked up from Myel Organics and then I'll also let you guys know my thoughts on the products themselves. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. So for me, when styling a wash and go, I like to use a leave-in conditioner, a styling cream, and some type of gel or custard. And while I was looking for products, I came across the Mayel Organics Pomegranate and Honey line and automatically fell in love with the smell. That is one thing I love about these products is they smell amazing. They smell so good, like you just wanna eat them. That's how good they smell. That right there won me over and I knew those were the products that I was coming home with. I ended up getting the leave-in conditioner as well as the curling custard. So as you can see here, the one thing missing is some type of styling cream. Now, they didn't have it at my Sally's, but I do know that there is a cream or smoothie that goes along with this line. So I'm hoping next time I'm in Sally's, they'll have it and I can use it with these two products that I have here. So to kind of fill that void, I did use another brand's styling cream just because I know my hair likes the combination of leave-in, cream, and gel or custard. Now this is the end result of this week's wash and go. So I did use those two products along with one other product of mine that is a cream. The first time I used these products, I actually just used those two products to style the leave-in conditioner and the curling custard. And the reason why I did that is because I kind of wanted to see how they perform together and if a cream was really needed. So I wanted to try that out first before I incorporated other products with my styling routine. Now I have to say that I absolutely love both these products for refreshing the hair. When I just used them, just two of them by themselves, I did find that my day one and two hair didn't feel very... Was the word I'm looking for didn't feel as defined and I had a lot more frizz than I normally do when I do use a styling cream so I knew with this wash and go I had to add a styling cream just to help with that so I'm really looking forward to finding the smoothie so that I can incorporate that and see how all three products work together um, but I do have to say that overall I really do enjoy using these products um, I really, really, really love the curling cream, probably a tad bit more than the leave-in conditioner. I have leave-in conditioners that I absolutely love, and I would not categorize this as a leave-in conditioner that I absolutely love, although I did like it. I wouldn't say I loved it. I would say that that I could probably do without, but the curling cream is bomb like the texture you can tell just by the texture that it's going to work well in your hair it, it gives great hold so as your hair is dry you're going to have that cast but once your hair is dry you can definitely break the cast and then you're left with super soft shiny defined curls which is what i have right now so i am rocking this day one hair because i wasn't totally in love with the leave-in conditioner i probably should have went with the white peony leave-in conditioner that a lot of you raved about in my uh instagram comments so i did see that there and i almost picked it up but i decided to go with the pomegranate and honey just because i was getting the custard from that line and i kind of wanted to see how they work together again i'm not mad at the leave-in conditioner I just have other leave-ins that I would prefer over it. 
And the reason being is, although it is super creamy and soft and smells amazing, as I was putting it in my hair, I didn't feel like it was absorbing into my hair. I don't know if that makes sense, but normally the leave-in conditioners that I love, I feel like my hair is absorbing it and it's making it soft. And with this leave-in, it just felt like it was just sitting on top of my hair. Now I know that Myel uses really, really great ingredients. So uh, again, not too sure what's happening there, um, but it just wasn't up to par with my other favorites. And with the curling custard, I just absolutely love it. I have to compare it to my favorites when it comes to gels and custards um, because it sits right there with it. As I mentioned before, it's really great to restyle the hair on day three, four, and so on and so forth. Both of the products actually were really great, but I like the fact that I can restyle my hair um, and it not feel heavy or weighed down or with product buildup. So um, overall, I recommend these products they are awesome they're great as you can see by my hair this is day one hair but again i used this in my last wash and go and it took me to day six so six days out of a wash and go yeah i'll take that any day but that is all i had for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed my little review and demo on the pomegranate and honey products from Myel Organics. Again, my first time using anything from Myel and I loved it and will definitely continue to use their products and I'm excited to try more of their products. So definitely stay tuned um, to see more reviews on Myel products because I think I'm hooked. I think I'm hooked guys. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. If this is your first time here, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. Hit that like button if you like this video. So on and so on and so on. Okay, so leave me a comment down below and let me know if you like Myel Organics and what your favorite product from Myel Organics is. All right, well, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.